answer is yes. The president thinks that climate change well, is a greater threat than terrorism. Uh, I think the, the, the point that the president is making is that when you're talking about the direct daily impact uh, of these kinds of challenges on the daily lives of Americans, uh, particularly Americans living in this country, uh, that that direct impact uh, is more, uh, that more people are directly affected by those things uh, than by terrorism. So, so climate change is more of a clear and present danger to the United States than terrorism? Well, I think even the Department of Defense has spoken to the significant threat that climate change poses to our national security interests. Oh, God. Yeah, please, do I have to hear that again? Uh, joining us now is my friend and your friend and our friend, Mark Morano, founder and owner of ClimateDepot.com and climate expert. And Mark, uh, we got two stories here. First story, uh, probably the second story, is what we just heard. Uh, a, a, a White House, a Defense Department, a National Security Advisor in the form of Susan Rice, out of control. Uh, priorities mixed up. But the big story, which really hasn't gotten enough play, uh, but you have uh, presented so very well, is that all this latest data that they told us showed that the Earth is the warmest it's been and blah, blah, blah. And I'm shrugging. How could that be when I know it's not? They screwed with the data. They made it up. Well, what's happening here is yes, multiple issues, as you say, Steve. Uh, what they've done, and this is very George Orwellian here, uh, they've, they're altering the past. Uh, and what they've done is they're cooling the past in the temperature records in order to show an enhanced warming trend. So, for instance, the 1930s, uh, according to the EPA, still had the most heat waves, was the hottest, you know, one of the hottest decades we've ever measured. And if you look at, the, at NASA data, from say the year 1999, it showed almost no trend or a cooling trend from the 1930s. Now, in the last 12, 13, 15 years, NASA has gone back and altered the past temperatures through adjustments, uh, and they now say the 1930s have been cooled, and now we're on an enhanced warming trend. It's warmer than we thought. It's unprecedented heat. The heat is accelerating. Why? Because it's getting hotter? Not necessarily, but because they've cooled the past. And it's worse than that. Uh, what the UK Telegraph didn't even mention is one of the excuses for this 18 plus year global warming pause is they're saying the pause doesn't exist. Studies are now saying that we haven't uh, uh, measured temperatures accurately in the Arctic and that when you adjust the temperatures in the Arctic, it shows a, a radical, even warming, more warming trend and therefore the global warming pause disappears. <laughs> they're going back. So Mark, wait a minute, wait, Mark, Mark you, know, you, know, you know what I'm getting here? I'm getting that, hey, the jobs numbers have also been uh, yes. uh, re, re, uh, redone and, and now been revised upward for the months of March, April, May, and June, and the unemployment picture isn't as bad as we thought it was. That, that's an, now that's what they're doing going back four decades, five, six, seven, eight decades with temperatures? Yeah, eight, nine, ten decades. Yeah, and some of these places, like in the 1880s, 1890s, they only had a few thermometers even monitoring whole regions, yet they'll come up with these magical, they fill in what the temperature would have been back then. Uh, you know, they fill in using these uh, a log a logarithms and, and uh, you know, these um, hard to figure out adjustments. Now, you can always adjust raw temperature data. Many scientists will tell you that's a perfectly legitimate thing to do. But one climatologist, Dr. Pat Michaels, has pointed out, all the adjustments are in one way. And the one way that the, the federal agent scientists are doing all the adjustments show enhanced warming. If there were legitimate adjustments, you'd think they'd be going certain ways. Okay, this adjustment's going to show less of a trend in global warming. This one will show more. Instead, they all show enhanced global warming. And it's like you said, if you have a company losing money and it finally declares bankruptcy and then say the last day before they declare bankruptcy, they say, oh, no, we hired a new accountant. Guess what? He found record profits for the last five years. We don't have to go under. That's almost what they're doing. They're, they're going back and, and adjusting these past temperatures and they're claiming uh, you know, now that global warming is worse than we thought. It's an enhanced trend. And they're using that, those adjustments as part of their hard sell that we need a UN climate treaty, that global warming is worse right. than war right. and ISIS and terrorism, that global warming, we need more EPA regulations, that we need to shut down American energy, coal, fracking, the pipelines, all to save us from global warming because it's worse than we thought. You know, the 1930s were cooler, cooler than we remember. 
I got to tell you, it's insane. And, you know, you know what the temperatures have been here uh, in this country and, and the snow in Boston just has another blizzard alert. And we here in New York, they were talking about breaking records of zero degree, minus zero degrees that hasn't uh, we haven't seen here in New York since uh, in the since the 1920s. Uh, I, it, it's insane. And that's, it takes, every time I hear weather. Barack that's Obama. That's consistent with global warming, Steve. That's con that's extreme weather. You know, Yale had to cancel their their global divestment campaign from carbon based energy today because of fears of frostbite <laughs> and snow. But that's all the extreme weather. That's con the scientists say, hey, every weather event is affected by global warming. That's literally what they're saying now, despite uh, the fact. Well, they're, they're in, well, of course they've changed. Well, of course they've changed from global warming to 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 uh, to weather to climate change. So they're global covered with anything. Hey, uh, always great to talk to you, sir. Michael Moran is next. Don't go away.